hey, let's do some back to school shopping. I am kickstarting my back to school shopping here at my discount store. You can find one in your area just by Googling like salvage grocery store, discount grocery store, and seeing what pops up. You may have to drive a little bit. I have to drive a little bit to get to this one. And I like to come to the Costco returns section, which today is looking all real empty. Oh, empty? I'm offended by this. Trail mix snack pack, $18. It says it's normally 30. Is this normally $30 at Costco? I, d I have some questions. Dave found the cookies. $7 condition, missing some. <laughs> they do have some Starbucks Nespresso like pods. I was kind of counting on this section to really pick up some awesome stuff. I found like cases of protein bars here before. They do have these like almond breezes. These are $2 for, is this a gallon? This is a half gallon. $2 for this half gallon shelf stable. It actually feels like a pretty good deal. And they do have a few items that are out of the containers. 99 cents for the muscle milk, that's pretty good. My sister told me about this since she's doing like the bodybuilding and she's really watching like the quality of the ingredients that she buys. So she said a lot of these pre-made protein shakes, they add oils, soybean oil, vegetable oil to like make them more palatable. So I've started looking at the ingredient list a little bit better on this one just to make sure. So in this one, sunflower oil, Dave. They added sunflower oil to this. Her that's necessary? That's, yes, it's very unnecessary, which means I'm going to put it back. They do have LaCroix, which is fine if you want to drink garbage water. No offense to those that like it. I just uh, don't think we can be friends. That's all. <laughs> this is a joke. I made a joke. <laughs> Another item I like to get here are baking products and cereal. They do have some Kashi cereals. I'm going to check the dates on those. I may just skip them. So today they have the Betty Crocker muffin tops. These are 79 cents at Walmart right now. These are over $3. So this is a huge savings. The blueberry is my favorite one. I don't see the blueberry, but I think I scored big time with the Ghirardelli brownie mix at 79 cents each. I think I'm going to get a ton of these. Can you say Brownie Friday? We also have some Marie Callender's cornbread mix for 79 cents. There's some good stuff. So I'm gonna peruse in here and see what we can pick up. Well, I'm a little let down in the uh, protein bar department today. I found like three of these Gatorade bars for 59 cents each. So we grabbed those. Biggest deal of the day so far, the Rayo's spicy sauce. Are you ready for this price? You're not ready. 99 cents? Are you kidding me? I had to do it. Because the discount store was so incredibly picked over today, uh, Dave and I decided to come over to Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer is uh, owned by Kroger. There's a ton of them uh, all over the United States. They're everywhere. They're the best store because they have the best sales. And right now they have a $10 off a $75 purchase along with some great sales for back to school. So I wanted to run in here, grab some great items for lunches, for easy dinners, and Dave parked in the parking lot right next to a cop with his lights shining. And now we're playing that game of like, what's going on? Dave's guess is they made an illegal turn in a construction zone. I'm thinking speeding in a construction zone. What's really funny is it's an HP. And he's got that wide brim hat on like a cowboy. Yeah, well, that's what the state troopers do. They do? Yep. Even in 2023? Yep. Who knew? See, the thing is you can't judge people because you never know. I know. You, you never know what's going on. Okay, let's go into Fred Meyer and get some deals. Okay. So what do you say? What do you say? Let's go. I love to check out the produce and salad kit area because not only do they have things on sale, today their Dole brand salad kits are $2.99. Not a great price, but for a really fresh selection, it's not too shabby. Unfortunately, they're totally sold out. Great news. We found the Dole chopped kits, $2.99 each. We went ahead and got five. These make the best lunches. It's like the easiest lunch on planet Earth. And there was a clearance salad for, what was it, like $2.20? $2.20. And these are $2.99 and these are fresher. So it just made sense. It just makes sense. Well, we were headed over to dairy to get the milk deal and the animals. And I realized I forgot the avocados. So I'm headed back to produce. Dave's going to get dairy. We will reconvene. They're all sold out of the avocados, so we'll have to pass. I don't need eggs. So I don't really know why I'm looking at clearance egg prices because we found like an amazing egg sale when we were here last time. That box of blue eggs is $10. That just hurts me in my heart. The cheese department. There's always something exciting in the cheese department. They have two pounds of cheese for $5 and you can freeze those. So we're stocking up. What does this song remind you of? Middle school. Would you believe that I did a lip sync to this song in elementary school? Really? Yes. 
I will not do it for you now. I'm pretty sure we sang this song during recess in elementary school while we were making up our lip sync. Man, they like really rock the music in this store. It's so loud. We got all of our clearance items and sale items were in the clearance section right now just to see if they had anything. Ooh, bread. Squirrel. Yum. Simple Truth Organic Flax Pepperidge Farm Buns, $1.48. The Walmart brand of buns, $1.32. King Arthur Bread Flour, $3.23. Normally $8.50. I need your thoughts on coconut water. I personally, in my opinion, think it's disgusting. But it is on sale. Julio Rodriguez cereal? I've never seen this. $1.25. Normally $5. Yikes. It looks like Fruit Loops. This looks like Fruit Loops but we've got a full cart. I think we're gonna check out now. We are done with Fred Meyer and the state trooper has pulled over someone else. It has to be the construction zone right there, right? He's just like sitting here and pulling people over for not following the construction zone signs. We're stopping to get gas. Where is gas where you are? Here for unleaded the cheapest, $3.89. Yet another store where they're rocking the tunes, Dave. I have to say, Sam's Club, Scan and Go app is one of the best shopping experiences ever beats the pants off of Costco. I said what I said. You won't regret it. No. I was hoping they would have a nice cereal for sale. So far, it's only Fruit Loops. Dave, what's your favorite cereal? Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran. Hey, Honey Nut Cheerios is on sale. Hey, this is pretty good. I just want to say at 17.2 cents an ounce, that's the original price. The sale price is better. That is rivaling the great value toasty oats at Walmart, which is the cheapest cereal at Walmart. That is pretty good. So I think we're going to stick with the Honey Bunches of Oats for a quick, easy breakfast. We are back from the store and it is time to do a haul. We have the discount store, we have Sam's Club, and we have Fred Meyer. If you can guess how much all of this food costs that's sitting right here right now, put your guess down in the comments and the winner, the one who's closest without going over Price is Right rules, wins 100,000 points. But the points are worthless and there's no prizes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> But if you want to guess, you can. Let's get ready to touch all of the things. Over here on this side, we have the discount store. Do you guys call it caramel? You cavemen. Look, there's an A right there. 79 cents each, fantastic price. And I'm thinking we need to make one of these right now. We have some more mayo. I do like this Primal Kitchen avocado oil mayo, fancy schmancy, with a stellar price, 79 cents. I think I showed you this in the store the bread flour. Coming over here, uh, we got a few protein bars. We've got this Quest protein, a couple of Gatorade proteins, a Cliff, and the Lilies salted caramel for 79 cents. Nope, I lied, for $1.59. And I even found this Krusty's um, blueberry pancake mix. Hopefully that's delicious. It feels like it will be delicious, 79 cents here. Best deal of the day, the Rayo's Spicy marinara, 99 cents a bottle, unfreaking believable. I think that wraps me up on the discount store. That was only $15. Moving on, Fred Meyer and Sam's Club are kind of mish, mushed together. Uh, we got some bread, we got some more bread. This one was from Sam's Club. You, do you guys know the Harper's Homemade's like just a hair over $3 for two loaves? Amazing price. I didn't have any barbecue sauce. That's a sin in my house, had to get that. Broccoli, trying this new thing with the coleslaw. I got it from my friend. She likes to do fish with, I think she does cabbage, but this is just like super easy. This was a dollar at Sam's Club. So I'll get a little bit, put my favorite dressing on it, a little bit of protein on the side, boom, easy meal. We were out of croutons. This is a favorite for back to school breakfast, especially for kids who have braces and have a really hard time like getting in the calories that they need, their mouth hurts. This in a blender with like banana, peanut butter, and whole milk, boom, you've got a bunch of calories. Emergency case of mac and cheese, PB crackers, these are awesome in the kids' lunches, the Honey Nut Cheerios I showed you in the store, the Brussels, we got avocados, grape tomatoes. Um, I asked Dave to get Pink Lady apples and he didn't. <laughs> he got the Gala apples. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is what we have. The Romaine Hearts at Sam's Club, best deal ever. It's $3 for this huge container. A six pack of the bell peppers. Peaches, yes, there's a couple missing. We cut them up and had yogurt bowl parfaits for dessert tonight. They were delicioso. Peaches are like one of my top 
five favorite fruits ever. So when it's peach season, which is in the fall, you must eat them. Cherries at Fred Meyer, $1.99 a pound. I'm super excited to show you what I'm gonna do with these. I actually don't like cherries raw, but cooked cherries I can get behind. And this one is bomb. Uh, some celery sticks, Aussie bites. We picked these up also for the mountain bike riding that we have coming up. We're training for a mountain bike race. Uh, string cheese, Colby Jack cheese for school lunches is fantastic. I did get some goat log today. It's one of my favorite things. And it's about $6 for this huge container. This is a whole pound, $6 for an entire pound of this. I think that's fantastic. Four packs of the Philly cream cheese from Sam's Club. Great price here too. Here are my dole kits except one is missing because we ate it for dinner. Along with the rotisserie chicken we also got, which you also cannot see because we ate it. The Danimal smoothies on sale at Fred Meyer, awesome for kids' lunches. This coming school year, hey, so I didn't really wanna get into this, but, but we're here, it's back to school. Might as well talk about family size. There's six in each of these containers. And now that I only have three, three kids going, it's gonna take two days to get through one of these. Instead of four kids, I've got three kids. One perfect tier. Uh, we got four packages of the brats. These are really easy to freeze. They make nice quick dinners. One of my favorite meals, seriously, I'm not even joking right now. A bagged salad kit, some grilled brats on the side, boom. Dinner does not have to be hard. It can be easy. I don't have a cheese problem. You have a cheese problem. Cheese? I don't think we will have an emerging cheese anytime soon. What, where are you going? What are you doing? You cannot drop a cheesy joke like that on me. Oh, a cheesy joke, what? Hey, um, while you're here, can I ask you a question? This is a really serious question. Yeah. I have a lot of concerns. <laughs> Do you want to explain this? Because this was all you. You want to explain why you need four pounds of pickled jalapenos? It's only a gallon. It's... <laughs> Coming. Every sandwich that I can think of, including my egg sandwiches, fried egg sandwiches, oh, jalapenos. Listen, if that is still here at Christmas, <laughs> I want a post nup agreement written up right now <laughs> no, that right says now. this will be gone at Christmas. <laughs> not going to happen. <gasps> that means I get to throw away all your ties that I hate. <laughs> That's probably okay. Oh, sweet. You heard it. You heard it here, folks. He approved. I'm getting rid of all the ties. Coming in the back, this is just household items. I've been really enjoying cooking with avocado oil. Needed a stock up because mine is like very, very low. And I am very low on honey. Um, and I am about to make more homemade granola. Oh, what? It's the best granola on planet Earth. I know. We're going to make new videos for you guys. Pure honey. The only thing in here is <gasps> filtered honey. Oh, I didn't tell you about the milk. Uh, the milk at Fred Meyer was $1.29 a half gallon, so we got five of those. The kids are set for their cereal. And that is the whole kit and caboodle. Is it kit and caboodle? Or kit and caboodle? The whole kit and caboodle. Total price of all of these items. Keep in mind, you're missing a rotisserie chicken, a couple of peaches, a salad kit. What else did we already eat? <laughs> This was $280. Yes, I did splurge on some items. Jalapenos. <laughs> $4. But like, we majorly stocked up on cheese and we got extra cheese. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of cheese in here. I don't know what's going on, but like, have you ever had these with like pita crackers? I'm dying, they're so good. What costs so much money? The cheese was very expensive. That is true. All the cheese, the string cheeses, the goat cheese, the cream cheese. Oh, the mozzarella. I didn't even show you. That's in the fridge. We had that at dinner also. I didn't even show you all the stuff. I had this with tomatoes and balsamic glaze at dinner time tonight. It was awesome. The honey alone, I think, was 20 bucks. I think the avocado oil was another $10. When you try sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes to buy like nicer ingredients like avocado oil instead of like a cheaper vegetable oil, the price is just gonna go up a little bit. And at this stage of my life, I'm okay with that. Uh, because I have a little more wriggle room. But there were times where I did the cheapest oil possible because sometimes that's all you can do. And the next thing on our back to school shopping list is clothes. Clothes and shoes for teenage boys. Do you have any solutions for me on that stage, that age for clothes? Because nothing in the men's fits because they're all too baggy. 
but nothing in the boys fits because they're too tall. Tell me where it is that you like to shop because we need help up in here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and shopping with me today. I hope you are excited about back to school season as well. And don't forget to pick up those Ticonderoga pencils. We out.